So I've made a series of videos regarding certain aspects of owning and purchasing a home in Florida on topics ranging from the Florida Hometown Heroes program to certain down payment assistance programs available to some Floridians, as well as to the fact that some people feel house poor after paying all the expenses relating to owning and maintaining a home in Florida. Now, one such expense, which I believe deserves extra attention, is the expense related to Florida property insurance. So in this video and a series of videos to come, I will be exploring the role that Florida property insurance plays in the Florida real estate market. In this video, we will be talking about Citizens Property Insurance Corporation and the role it plays in the Florida insurance market. But before we go on, please check out this brief disclaimer video. This is Ryan Ramsrand, an attorney in Palm Beach County, Florida. Welcome to my channel. The purpose of this channel is to provide general information about the Florida real estate market. It is not designed to provide specific information tailored to any individual real estate transaction. If you need this type of information, please consult with your own attorney, real estate agent, property insurance agent, settlement agent, or any other service provider that you choose to work with for your particular situation. The viewing of content on this channel does not create an attorney-client relationship between the viewer and the law office of Ryan A. Ramsrand, PA. Although every effort is made to provide accurate content on this channel, because the Florida real estate market is so dynamic, there is no guarantee that the information will be accurate when you view it or will remain accurate in the future. The law office of Ryan A. Ramsaran is a title agent with Attorneys Title Fund Services, LLC, and issues title insurance policies underwritten by Old Republic National Title Insurance Company. The firm also represents companies and individuals in the acquisition, sale, and development of commercial property, such as hotels, warehouses, and industrial property. If you believe my firm might be a good fit to represent you, in real estate matters, please see the firm contact information under details in the about tab of this channel. In addition to real estate matters, my firm also accepts personal injury cases, as well as cases related to the violation of individual civil rights. Please note that these cases will be referred to another law firm. However, under no circumstances will the client be responsible for paying fees or costs in addition to what they would be paying if they only hired one law firm. Again, thanks for viewing content on this channel, and let's get back to the content we were looking at before. Thank you. So welcome back. Florida's insurance market is served by both private insurance companies and by Citizens Property Insurance Corporation. Recently, however, several private insurance companies have become insolvent and have gone out of business. You can find a list of these companies if you go to the website for FIGA, which is short for Florida Insurance Guarantee Association. FIGA is a state-created entity that is designed to process the claims of insolvent insurance companies. Now, obviously, with many insurance companies going insolvent, that means that there's less competition and less access to private insurers in Florida. And this is where Citizens comes in. Citizens is a not-for-profit, state-created organization. According to its website, it is there to provide access to property insurance for homeowners who are in good faith entitled to get property insurance in a private market but are unable to, to get it. Now, Citizens policy count has been steadily rising. According to a press release issued by Citizens in September of 2022, in 2019, Citizens' policy counts was 420,000, and by the date of the issuance of that press release, it had grown to over 700,000. According to initial estimates from Citizens, it is, it is estimated that the policy count will be between 1.1 to 1.3 million by the end of 2022. Now, Citizens usually has very competitive rates, 
sometimes the cheapest available to customers. And the reason why that is, is because under Florida law, citizens is required to pass on assessments if, it's a, if it has to pay claims due to a massive storm or hurricane or a series of storms or hurricanes resulting in massive claims to the company. Per citizens, those assessments are passed on to citizens' policyholders, which can be substantial. And according to citizens' own website, often the policy coverage you can obtain from a private insurer is often less restrictive and more flexible than the coverage you can obtain through citizens. Hopefully this video gave you some insight into the role Citizens Property Insurance Corporation plays in the insurance market in Florida. If this information is of some use to you, please like and consider subscribing. Otherwise, be safe out there.